I'm here to do the Hamilton book tag and I am beyond excited. So I am very, very, very late to the game with Hamilton, but the thing is, is I just never got into it at the time. Like I'd heard of Hamilton, but I feel like there was never a way for me to see it. Like I could listen to the soundtrack, but I just felt like I couldn't connect with it if I couldn't see the play. So I never got into Hamilton and I also live in Australia and I didn't even know who Alexander Hamilton was. So I just was never into Hamilton, but I always heard people make Hamilton references, but I just never got into it. But when I watch Mary Poppins I'm sitting there being like this guy that's playing Jack kind of looks familiar and I googled him and I'm like oh he just wrote Hamilton and I just started to get intrigued so I did google what happens in the play and I found out the story and then I started listening to the soundtrack and I was just like oh my god this is awesome it's a musical about one of the founding fathers of America and it's a rap musical and I was just like okay and now I've been listening to it for weeks and I'm obsessed and I needed to do the book tag and I can't wait to get in the question so question number one is the room where it happens and the question is book world you would put yourself in. I want to be in the world of the night circus because it sounds amazing and I just want to be a part of all the cool things. I don't know if I necessarily want to be a part of the circus though or be one of the people that follows it around like it's a religion. Like I feel like I want to be a follower like I want to be one of the night circus's groupies but I need to be in this world. Question number two is the Shyla sisters. I think this is one of my favorite songs because I just love it when they're just like Angelica, Eliza and Peggy. Like she doesn't even exist like it's one of the best songs but this question is an underrated female character I'm gonna say Drew from the Dark Artifices by Cassandra Clare because I mean yes she is 13 but I always feel like the characters push her to the side like she can't do anything and I feel like she's so underrated and like she is gonna kick butt like I have not read Queen of Air and Darkness yet do not spoil me I feel like she could potentially whip out some cool skills that everyone's gonna be like what and I feel like she is gonna be present in the Wicked Powers as well I just think she's underrated and people need to give her some more love. Question number three is my shot and that is a character that goes after what they want and doesn't let anyone stop them. I feel like Audrey Rose fits this. She is a woman ahead of her time and she doesn't care what the men in the bloody world think. She is going to do autopsies if she wants to and she is going to go to good schools if she wants to and even though some things do bring her down and a lot of sadness has hit her, she just keeps going and getting through it and I think she is just such a strong character for being able to keep going and she just doesn't give up and that's why I love her. And question number four is stay alive and that is a character you wish was still alive and this is going to be a spoiler okay guys and I'm going to have a spoiler from the show Downton Abbey because this is the one that hit me the hardest and like there is book deaths that I'm sad about but like this is the one that really hit me. So I'll have my hand out while I talk about it and once I'm done I'll put my hand back down. If you want to skip this part of the video not to get spoiled that is the cue. So when Lady Sybil died, I just couldn't handle it. Like I knew it was coming because I knew the actress left the show. I started watching the show when five seasons had already been out. So I knew that she left the show and it was a big thing and everyone was talking about it, but it didn't hit me until I was actually watching the show. It hit me so hard and I couldn't stop sobbing. I had to go to work the next day and I was just like, I can't, someone's just died. Like I can't cope knowing this important person in my life died. And she just got with Tom and they were having the baby and she dies during the childbirth and I just couldn't like that whole death scene still like torments me because I just hear it and I start crying because I just couldn't cope and they should have had such a long life and like even when Matthew died it was just like what is going on why are they killing everyone and why is everyone leaving this show because it's a great show why do you want to leave but it just it really hit me so hard question number five is burn and I also love this song like it's just such good vocals from Philippa Sue because I bought the soundtrack and it's the original cast the way that lines keep coming back up because we know Hamilton wrote letters to her and then she's singing about them later and it's just like watching them burn and I'm just like <laughs> But this question is the most heartbreaking end to a relationship you've ever seen. And again, another spoiler. So this spoiler is going to be for the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So I'll have a photo of the book up. And then when I put the photo away, again, the spoiler is gone. Evelyn and Celia's relationship actually killed me reading this book. Because I didn't expect it to be a thing. I thought it was going to be about her husbands. But I didn't know that she was actually going to be in love with a woman. What kept getting me is they broke up twice. And then the third time they broke up is because Celia dies. And I was so upset because the first time they broke up it was just like oh my god this is so sad and it was a few years until they got back together but then they broke up the second time and I was just like oh I can't handle this anymore like this is just too much and like they got back
back together the third time and then they broke up through the form of death and I was just like oh my god because like Celia knew she was gonna die and she only had about 10 years left and Evelyn's just like oh I'll live them out with you and I'm just like <laughs> like it's just it was such a heartbreaking thing because like they ended on a happy note even though she died but like there's multiple breakups kept killing me and I just couldn't handle it anymore and I'm listening to the book like <laughs> what's happening okay question number six is you'll be back and you'll see you remember you belong to me I love this song but this question is sassy as villain who else am I gonna pick but the darkling from shadow and bone by Leigh Bardugo I think this is everyone's answer but he is the sassiest and I've recently seen people comparing him to Voldemort just if Voldemort was hot but the Darkling is just his own strand, okay? Voldemort did horrible things, and the Darkling did as well, but he owns that shit, and he is amazing, yet he is just someone I would probably follow, because I'm like, he's so awesome. Question number seven is the Reynolds pamphlet, and this is a book with a twist you didn't see coming. Again, another spoilery question. If you haven't read Red Queen, wait until I put the book down, and then you can keep going with the video. Like, when I read this book back in 2015, I didn't have as many books read, so I wasn't as used to looking for the spoilers, so if I read this now, I'd probably be like, mate, I know what's gonna happen. But when Maven did a total 180 and was actually the villain of the story, I was just like, holy shit. Like, I still remember when I was sitting on the couch and I just screamed and chucked the book and mom's like, what's going on? I'm like, ah! It was such a shock to me that I just couldn't believe that this was happening. And since this book, every time there is a story where there is two brothers and they're the love interest, I don't trust the little brother, okay? Because more times than not, the little brother is this little shit who is the bad guy. And it has happened in quite a few books. So it's always like they treat it like the older brother is like such an evil dude. And then the younger brother's really nice. But then you find out that the younger brother just wants to kill the older brother so that he can get their power. And the older brother is actually a really nice dude. So then book two, we find out more about the older brother brother like it's just become such a trope and it's not that I don't mind it but I just sit there like girl girl you don't know what you're doing he's a bad dude he's not, not good for you don't go down that road but definitely it flipped me the heck out I've never read a plot twist that has done worse to me question number eight is non-stop and I do have to say that I think this is my favorite one I just love it how about you wrote the other 51 I don't even know like you're running out of time why do you know no 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 like there's so many words it's so hard to actually remember them all but non-stop is actually my ultimate number one favorite Hamilton song so a series you marathon like I hardly the marathon series it just doesn't work out for me because I've got so many books and I cannot read them quick enough but I do remember with House of Night when this came out I read like the first one in three days and then the next one in two days and I got through the first six then I bought the next four in the series and marathon them and then I read book 11 and 12 each year as they came out but I just remember being completely obsessed and having to get through this as quickly as I could and then as I started reading other things and I had to read the conclusion of this series it was a bit like that's it and like now there is more books in this series like they kept going after like five years of not writing it they kept going and I'm like no no thank you I don't really want to know what else is happening to these characters but I just remember being completely obsessed and just needing to keep reading. Question number nine is satisfied and this is favorite book with multiple POVs. I really love Friend of Glass and how many POVs are in this book and it just works so well together. And even though they introduce a lot of POVs over time with the series, I just really love it because it's more fun to be right in the characters' minds because there is so much going on in this world that you can't just have one person doing the whole story, but I think it's done very well. Question number nine, who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Sorry. So this is a book slash series that you feel will be remembered throughout history. As if you can't say Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling because this is going to be remembered. It's already been remembered for the last 20 years and it's still as popular as it was back then. This is just going to become a classic of the world and in like 50 years people are still going to be reading this series and probably in 100 years they'll still be reading it because it actually just changed the way the world is because without Harry Potter I feel like the world would be a completely different place because there's not one person out there who hasn't heard of Harry Potter and it's just such a big thing it's going to be around for a very long time. So they were the 10 main questions but there's just two bonus questions I wanted to answer because they're some of my favorite songs. So the next one is for Helpless and this is a relationship you were pulling for from the start. I'm going to say Aaron and Kestra from The Winner's Curse by Maria Rotoska. Even though there is relationship happening it got a bit scary there in the series where it's just like 
is this actually gonna happen? Like, are they actually gonna stay together? Or is it just gonna be too difficult for them to be in a relationship? And it made me really sad because I really liked their relationship, but this is angsty. Like, if you are not a fan of angsty political stories, don't pick this one up, but I was just there for it from the start. Like, the minute they met, I'm like, this gotta happen. I love this jumper because it's so floppy. Oh my god, I like match. And the other question I wanted to answer was right hand man. I just love this song. Here comes the general. Mm, 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 mm. So the question is favorite bro TP and as if it can't be Will and Jem because they are the ultimate bro TP. Like they started the bro TPs, okay? Because these bros love each other so much and they're like the best of friends and they're parabatized. So they are like bros. Like they're full on bros. Like instead of being parabatized, they're bro-batized. They are like seriously the closest guys I've ever met that aren't in love with each other. So that was the Hamilton tag and I had so much fun. Like this is just like my new obsession, Hamilton. And it's funny because like I started listening to audiobooks but then I was like, how do I listen to Hamilton if I'm listening to audiobooks? Because I got into audiobooks around the same time that I got into Hamilton and yes, like I just, Hamilton is so good. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!